This video will show you how to process your calorimetry data in order to find the data points you need for your calculations. So the two things you need for each run are you need to know the average temperature before you added the salt, so in this region, and then you need to know the maximum temperature that you achieved in your run. So if this button may not already be open, this menu, so you would open this. This is your selection tool. Once you select, click your selection tool, you can highlight your data. So this is the data for which I want the average. You have to click Done. Then click your Show Statistics button. And here we just want the average or the mean. Now, in order to have that text box stay on my graph, I actually have to create it. I have to annotate. So I'll say mean 22.5C. Zero. C. Say OK. And now this text box will stay on the screen and I can move it wherever I want. So I'm going to deselect the show statistics and I'll deselect the selection tool. And now I want to find the maximum for run one. So again, my selection tool, highlight the data, click done, click the show statistics button. And this time I want maximum, say OK. And again, if I want that to stay on the screen, I will annotate max 31.20C, say OK. Turn off show statistics, turn off selection. Now if I want to do the same thing for run 2, I have to select run 2. So now I'll be able to select the run two data. So I highlight, hit done, show statistics, mean, okay, 22.81. So annotate, mean 22.81C. Say okay, turn these off, and then Finally, let's find the maximum. Hit done. Show statistics. Maximum. Maximum was 30.03. .03. So again, 30.03C. .03 Say OK and turn off these buttons. So now this is all the data that I need in order to um, do my calculations and you need some way to get this out. So you have a couple options. This is your sharing tool. So you can put this right up onto an online storage service if you want to. Um, so I'll show you the options. So I could save this right to my Google Drive, and I could say, call it um, calorimetry calculations. And now it's right on my Google Drive so that I can access it and print it from any place. Um, another option is I can take a snapshot. So I took a snapshot and You could export the journal, and I could save this any place as a JPEG. So those are a couple options on how to get the data out. So um, you should plan to somehow print this page and hand this in with your calorimetry calculations and lab report.